one of uh, the, the, the news that is common in all the media, in all the countries all over Europe, I think it's about the baby of the year, that is about the first newborn baby in the, in the year, and while the Icelandic baby make the news uh, even in some other countries because the baby of the year, uh, of, uh, uh, born in uh, 1980, gave birth to this year first year baby. <laughs> so that was a curious fact. Uh, the, Bulgarian, the Bulgarian media was preoccupied with the first baby born in uh, by a um, uh, 13 year old mother uh, named after uh, the, uh, the grandfather uh, who is uh, um, 33, uh, the father is uh, 15. So this again sparkled uh, and have gave lots of materials to the Bulgarian media, quite hungry for news in the beginning of the new year. Uh, telling the stories of uh, uh, young um, uh, Romani uh, girls uh, giving uh, birth to uh, babies in their early teenage years. Uh, and uh, this news was also accompanied by comments. This is something very common in our Roma communities and in, uh, in Nadezhda. And also was interrelated again with the stereotypes uh, that Roma live on social benefits, they give birth to many children, and um, so on. Um, and uh, actually, this, uh, the, the stereotype about uh, um, you know, the more attention that is paid to uh, the early marriages and the early births are actually contradicts to a nationwide tendency. So this uh, data here is taken from the National Statistical Institute and it's not related, there are no ethnicity background here, but even if we attribute all the, um, the cohabitations and here uh, the births, to all uh, the Roma girls, which is oops, which is not the case, because uh, they are early marriages and uh, early births to other ethnicities too. We see, uh, yeah, a clear t tendency for um, for the last years. Um, uh, this paper discusses the uh, marriageable age uh, among uh, several Romani groups uh, in three regions of Bulgaria. Uh, namely um, Schumann, Montana, and Sliven. So I, um, I've done some research uh, among these uh, um, Romani communities, uh, and I discuss how different group practices and attitudes regarding marriageable age and childbirth have changed over the last few decades, uh, and particularly I try to see some connection uh, between the migration of the families, of the individuals, <coughs> or the whole communities in certain cases that is related to their views on uh, uh, marriage, uh, early, um, early marriages and uh, uh, childbirth. Uh, I don't uh, di discuss in details uh, other uh, factors that in social science scholarship are uh, related uh, to uh, early marriage uh, and marriageable age, uh, as for example, educational status, socioeconomic status of the family, type uh, of place of residence, level of parents' education. I touch upon these issues, of course, but uh, the main things are some trends that the communities themselves see as related to migration and view on, uh, on, um, on marriage and marriageable age. Um, and of course, since in all Romani groups there is this, as in all other communities, of course, the interrelation between the level of education that is reached by the girls and the marriageable age, I discuss this into more details. And uh, some uh, very, very basic issues uh, about which most of you are aware, uh, but uh, so um, the term Marriage defines the creation of a Romani family, one of the most important and ultimate steps in the individual life cycle. The marriage union occurs by its public announcement among the community in which the couple lives, uh, and um, not through a religious or civil marriage, although some of this may be concluded. Usually, the marriage is concluded through an arrangement by the two parties, bride and groom side, but also could be concluded after stealing. It's rather an imitation of such or elopement of the girl. And regardless of the means of marriage conclusion, central part uh, of the marriage plays the public announcement by different means of the fact that the girl has entered into marriage as a virgin. She has to preserve her virginity before marriage, and as the community narrates, 
this is her honor, the most important thing, the only thing she has, uh, according to the people who narrate about this. Preserving the honor is of primary importance for the girl and actually the female that are responsible for her upbringing, the mother, the, uh, the grandmother, usually other uh, female relatives. Uh, the virginity requirement and the role of the announcing that the girl has entered into the marriage as a virgin is kept in all Romani groups that I discuss here and generally in Bulgaria, regardless of the age they enter uh, into marriage. So this is valid for all the groups. Um, at the same time, the requirement for entering into marriage as a virgin has been indicated in research and by the people I I spoke to as one of the main reasons for early marriages. Um, and another important thing <coughs> is that uh, marriages below the law of wage, that in Bulgaria is 18 years, uh, are ve very rare, only among some communities. So the mainstream practice among the Romani group is rather about for marrying uh, after the, the age of 18. Uh, and uh, in some groups, as for example Kaleji from northwestern Bulgaria, uh, some of them were mentioned here, they live in Montana region, um, or Kopanari, so these are the Romanian uh, speakers in the region of Schumann, for example. Uh, the trends about marriage and marriageable age are fully comparable with those of the surrounding population. And for other, uh, we cannot, of course, generalize, but we can speak about some groups that remain more conservative regarding change of ethnocultural norms as the uh, uh, Kaldarashi or some groups residing in some parts of segregated neighborhoods in towns. Uh, the age is still uh, low and uh, in some cases is below 15 as this is the case in, uh, in Sliven for example. Um, and uh, actually for all communities even for those for which the marriageable age is high or after uh, 18, around 20, uh, an early marriage can be accepted when actually the virginity of the girl is lost or threatened. So this is a reason for, for an early marriage, even though the group mainstream practice is another one. Um, and um, also, uh, I think we can speak about uh, like mainstream model for certain communities or group living in certain locality has a mainstream practice. <coughs> well, and a gradual change is taking place. For some groups, changes occurred uh, in the beginning of the socialism period. For others, they're taking place uh, later. For others, it was in the transition period. Uh, after the fall of communism. And for others, the, th the things are not changing, so to say. Uh, and such cases, uh, the, the Sliven uh, region actually, the, the Sliven, uh, the town of Sliven. Um, and also I propose a typology of, uh, so this is on the base of the research I've done uh, in Bulgaria, uh, a typology of the groups uh, of, of, the, of the marriageable age among the groups that I observed uh, as interrelated to the educational status. So one typology is uh, the ones that is the, the earliest age, so uh, the marriage, marriage occurs always be below 15, and any girl after this age <coughs> is considered a spinster, she is not able to marry uh, within the community, uh, and so on. And in this case, uh, the primary education is also rarely rich. So usually the girl can drop out of school around the fifth or sixth grade. This is uh, uh, a common case in Nova Zagora. I will speak more about it. Uh, <coughs> then uh, another like practice then uh, where uh, the primary education is rich, it's a must. A secondary education is an option. And the desirable age for marrying the girl is after 18, but usually it happens a bit earlier. Uh, and another one that is actually after the, uh, mm, the age of uh, 18, and it's very common for, for the major society as well. So uh, a secondary school, a university degree is an option too. Uh, and as I say, in all the groups, the virginity rule is, um, uh, is kept. Uh, each of the three practices shall not be attributed to one group only, as in different period, one of the previous models was mainstream for the group. Um, and I uh, present here uh, some, um, the case of the town of Nova Zagora. Uh, 
is uh, particular because uh, the, the grandmothers there are actually uh, with uh, a higher degree of education and uh, later age at marriage than their granddaughters. Um, so uh, this is a homogeneous community. Um, so uh, they have a, a preferred Turkish identity, um, several um, thousand Roma live in one neighborhood, so it's a, so to say, compact community. Uh, the destinations of uh, migrations are uh, Greece, uh, France, uh, Italy. Uh, and the, the girls, as a rule, are married around the age of, uh, of 12. The mother, the grandmothers, were married uh, much uh, later, after uh, the age of uh, 17. And actually, the only girls who are studying, uh, uh, who are enrolled in the grade 7th and 8th in the local <coughs> school, are daughters of uh, parents who are in migration. And if uh, if asked the people why, why they uh, study, but their peers are, are not studying, which is a quite common model, they say, yeah, the father or the mother, they insist, they think this would be useful, and so on. And so the grandmothers say, okay, we, uh, uh, we, we had jobs, we had uh, education, and we regarded this, okay, they don't say this, is, but they regard education as uh, something that was valuable during the time of socialism, but now no one has a job, and here the, uh, so we, we don't let uh, our granddaughter, granddaughters to go to school. And also they contrast their narratives uh, uh, about the families living abroad, so they say, okay, I have uh, uh, two granddaughters, one is living with me, and her education was discontinued, and she's expecting a marriage, but the other one, um, she will continue her education. Um, and here, but uh, after what Juan said uh, in his yesterday presentation, I think uh, I should uh, think uh, more about is the case comparable, but actually um, before this I thought that maybe it could be comparable that the grandmothers of the generation between uh, born between 50s and 60s, uh, as uh, uh, Juan's data uh, showed, they gave birth at earlier age, while the, the cohorts uh, born between 19th and 99 appear to be having, ch uh, having children at earlier uh, age. And um, also I compare this case of Nova Zagora with the results by, uh, observed uh, by David Sheffield in Preshov region of Slovakia, uh, who is providing uh, data about women born between 50s and 65 who gave birth to their first child almost at the age of uh, um, 18, while those born in the years between uh, 1985 and the year 2000 gave birth at the age of 16. Um, so, uh, and the, the Nova Zagora case of uh, uh, dropping down of the age of marriage and gave, giving birth to a first child contradicts to the national tendency I was presenting at the beginning. Um, and uh, uh, another trend that is observed uh, among uh, uh, this community, but also among other communities, um, where the girl finish primary education, uh, basically these are in rural areas, uh, parents are not inclined uh, to let them go to the nearby town because they consider that this will uh, they will be acquainted with the models of the macro society where there are this uh, premarital relationship, so their virginity will be threatened and they say, okay, we keep them at home. Uh, so basically the girls are not married but discontinue their education. And uh, uh, what these families designed the uh, villages of Salmanovo and Zlatar, this is Schumann region, Horohane Roma, so uh, as a strategy to postpone the marriage. Uh, they take their daughters after finishing their primary education, they take them in migration with them in order to postpone the marriage. And when asked, okay, uh, maybe the marriage will happen there because people from the community live there and they would say, oh no, actually there are laws there, uh, no one will threaten our girls there. So we think that there the regulation worked quite well and there was one rumor in this region uh, that was, I don't think it was based on a real case, but uh, uh, some people that were um, 
in France uh, was spreading rumor that uh, there was a Romani girl from Verbitza, that is another, uh, uh, another location in the region. So she got pregnant before in her teenage year, so uh, they threatened to take uh, her child away and so on. So this community uh, uh, really uh, firmly believes that uh, uh, living abroad will postpone the, the marriage and they practice it and actually it works. Mm. So, um, regarding the, the third type of marriage, that is uh, actually uh, the one above, uh, above the 18 and uh, graduating university education. Um, yeah. So here, um, there are of course groups uh, among which uh, uh, th this model is observed since the 60s. 16th and, and 70s, like Kaleji from northwest Bulgaria. While uh, for other communities, as Horohane Roma in Schumann, uh, this is, so to say, a recent model that is observed in the uh, last 20 years. And there are two mass processes that reflect on the community development. These are, from one hand, uh, the migration. So basically, if you walk, walk uh, in the neighborhood, you will see just a houses that are inhabited by uh, uh, an older couple, so the grandmother and the grandmother and the grandfather, and possibly the children if they are not migrating with their parents. Uh, so quite a massive process among the community. And for those youngsters who stay uh, in the country, um, getting educated, learning languages and preparing, having the secondary uh, education is seen as a resource that will help them adapt better when they go and join their parents abroad. Uh, and mm, so uh, here is, a, and the promotion as uh, I think uh, Carol mentioned before, so the promotion is already incorporated in the family, uh, in the individual life, life cycle and celebrated by the whole family, by the neighborhood as a kind of, uh, of weddings or uh, musicians are invited, uh, big gatherings are made um, and so on. And um, ideally this, uh, these girls will just go after uh, their promotion, will go abroad to join their parents. And of course there are girls who uh, live abroad from earlier age. Um, here again, girls, these are uh, from Schumann and also Kaleji living in Sofia, otherwise are from Montana uh, region. Mm. Um, so actually, uh, the, the, the impact that I've observed on the migration, although it could uh, uh, look quite uh, mm, uh, optimistic uh, and maybe too general, is that the migration has, uh, um, uh, has a triggering effect on reassessing education and struggling for a higher education, which also means the, uh, um, uh, getting married at a higher um, age. Um, and um, I believe that uh, now, because in the last uh, 10 years, uh, uh, both the all ethnic communities, including the Roma, are rather inclined to permanently migrate. I think that we will continue to observe these processes and maybe even taking the, the children or giving birth to children uh, abroad and then educating them there. So this is something that um, that is about to, to be seen. But from my experience, it's rather positive. Even in, uh, uh, if we look at the Sliven, where no change is happening, those who express that they would like to, uh, to educate their children are, are those who are more mobile in Bulgaria or abroad. These, are, these were the musicians. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you very much.